Hey, what up guys? Welcome to the next Summer of the Game Season 9, Episode 3. In this episode, we're going to be playing uh, Black Lives the Soldier Fiend deck. Let's quickly check out the deck, guys. A while back, um, I came across this um, deck on the ladder. I, I was so intrigued by it, I decided to write down his deck list using my trusty mail deck. So uh, this is the deck we're using, well, similar to it. So let me quickly go over the cards and why I chose them. So basically, um, I'm using the standby to get that extra card. Yeah, that extra card is huge because um you could you need that one extra card to use with your lemon impulse size and majority of the time you don't want to discard your important card so getting that extra card is huge but the thing about doing standby is um it can work as a double edged sword because like your opponent also get extra cards so you gotta be worried of that the other card in this deck is um card in this deck is black dust soldier sacred soldier this is the card that this deck revolve around basically um if you use no more special summon this card you can banish one light or dark monster and one card you put control, return that banished card to the grave. If you do banish that card you put control, you can only use this effect once per turn. So basically, um, if you some special some dark next you're gonna banish three card, right? And then you wanna use some um, limit impulse to send two of your fiend type monsters so that way you could help you to get a dark neck of three, right? And get out of your Darkling of Fear and then summon your tribute summon for your Black Lesser Soldier and bring back the Banished Monster and then you get to um, pretty much destroy one of his one of your opponent cards. So insanely powerful guys. That's one of the sick combo you could do with this set guys. So that uh, other combo running is Darkling of Fear. You want to run two to get card consistency. Uh, I was debating whether I should run um, Lava Gun in this deck but I decided not to add it. And you may consider buying level gun if you wanted to. The other combo running is Spear Creebo, pretty good. This is also a fiend time monster, so it's sending the rebound. This will help me stall for a couple turns. Plus, you could return this card back to your hand using um, Trans Arch Fiend, really good. Trans Arch Fiend is really good, guys. It let me um, discard card to the graveyard to help you my graveyard to soak and special some Dark Knight Fear, really good. Doom Dark to help me get out my Dark Knight Fear, pretty self explanatory. Dark Mimic is a fiend time monster plus help me um, draw one card really good, synergize really well. I, I decided to add this tag card. I believe you, the deck list he was using, he also have using this card. So yeah, this is a pretty nice tag card, guys. Yeah, if you don't have this, you can probably replace it with um, Windstorm Takwa. It's fine. So you definitely want to run this card because um, this card works really well with um, Black Lives Matter Soldier, right? Because um, you can send two fiend time monster. And then you can like balance those three type three type monsters to special some dark thing up here. And then tribute your black as a soldier, destroy one of your opponent card, and then go for direct attack, right? If your opponent doesn't have any monsters. So yeah, this is very devastating combo. Really good guys. So uh, surprisingly this deck is putting on work guys like I managed to win three in a row at legend rank guys, so yeah, this deck is can hold held its own guys against any other top tier decks. Surprisingly, I didn't face that many Cyber Angel deck. Maybe I've I've only t faced like one to two so far. The one time I lost to Cyber Angel deck with this deck is um I went first and my opponent like literally opened up with a perfect open hand. There's nothing I can do about it. So yeah, I managed to win um against Cyber Angel deck with this deck as well. So let me show you guys something to do with play with this deck and show you guys what this deck is capable of. Surprisingly, this deck is doing really well in Legend rank. I was able to get um, a couple wins in, so yeah, this deck can help its own against a uh, top tier deck, pretty good. So the first, let me show you guys the duel against um, Cyber Angel. So let me show you how this deck fair against Cyber Angels. So if you open up a good open hand, you have a chance to um, win against Cyber Angel, but if you don't open a good hand, then the chance of winning is very slim. So guys, using dual standby is very good because um, you get that one extra card and that one, that one extra charge is the difference between you winning a duel or losing. Pretty good. Here, I open up a two dark and field, that's very bad. As you can tell, we didn't start out well. This is basically a really, really bad hand. Here, I went first, my opponent doing his own thing. Get a Benton. So they were seeing bad at this point, so my opponent have a chance to OTK me. 
So the thing about Cyber Angel is um, it replenishes itself, right? So he can get resources back here. He didn't summon his Dakini. Pretty surprising. Here I used Magic Arm Shield. Magic Arm Shield is a very nice tech card, guys. Definitely consider adding it in this deck. If you have Magic Arm Shield, you can use um, Winston Taco instead. Here I use he attacked him with Dark Mimic. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't summon his other um, Ritual Monster. Yeah, I'm just starting at this point. I don't wanna start until I can get out my Dark Mega Fear. I need three Fiend Time Monster in my grave, right? So far, I wouldn't have two. So I need to sign one more card. Here, he she finally decided to um, Ritual Summon Dakini. So with Dakini effect, she let me I have to choose one of the monsters to send to the graveyard. Here, use magical arm shield. Use cyber angel. She uses the magic, the ritual spell to protect it. This she attacked to my doom dog. Now I have three green uh, type monsters, so I could special summon dark nigger fear. Here, I use dark nigger fear special summon it. Here, she uses the flood cape tracker. Here I have a 2800 defense so she can't get over it so basically my opponent just surrender because um there's no way he can get over my 2800 defense right and that, the only way he can get over it if he um use Edithin effect to boost her monster attack right that's the only way or if you have uh enemy controller or some sort I mean, let me show you guys the other duel so this thing is pretty fun that guys like like I was saying earlier, um, I was able to win 3 in a row with this deck, a legend ranker, so it's pretty decent. We're going first. Wait, I mean, I think we're going first, yep, we're going first. So we're facing again Paradox Brothers, I'm not sure what kind of deck he's running. Here, this is a very good open hand, guys, Limit Impulse. We open up a Black Soldier. Dark Mega Fear, this is a very good open hand. I really want to show you guys the Black Lesser Soldier and Limit Impulse combo. Hopefully, I can show you guys that combo. Here, my opponent playing Job Dark Mice. I'm not even sure what kind of deck this guy's winning. Here, he attacked in the monster. I get to draw a card. Here, he attacked directly. Here, you use Limit Impulse. The, the cool thing about Limit Impulse is you can send. Green time monster to grave our right, so we can special summon Dark and Fear. Here attributes um the Black Lives Soldier. Since um I didn't have any balance monster, I couldn't trigger the Black Lives Soldier effect, right? Make sure you have a um, Banish monster in your grave, so you can destroy one of your opponent monsters using the Black Lives Soldier effect. But since I didn't have an um, opening slot monster slot, so I can summon special summon Dark and Fear. I'm opening Smender, basically won that match, so guys, this combo is very devastating, guys. Let me show you guys the second duel. So guys, yeah, after this, I show you guys the duel play, I'm gonna go straight to the live duel. I ho hope to show you guys some of the potential duel we play, I mean live duel with this deck. To show you guys what this deck is capable at, at legend rank. We're going first. So we're facing against my Benetton. Okay, she's not using a romance right here. I open up an all monster card. This is very bad. Here she's using a Fire King Avatar. I'm guessing she's running a Phoenix deck or some sort. I'm not quite sure. Here I'm just starting after I could get three monsters to my graveyard. Here I set Dark Mimic. Keep drawing cards. Look at that, they're all monster, yo. Here you trans Arfin, Sand, Doom Dark. Here she uses um, Super Rush Headlong, pretty bad. But luckily we have two Speed Creeble to protect our life points, so we're pretty good. So yeah, she is running a Phoenix deck, pretty interesting. So in the last episode, uh, I used the Phoenix deck, it was pretty good. But I think because of the Cyber Angel, um, Floating around is not as good as before, but still a fun deck. Here she destroyed my magic arm shield. Because of the fear spell, she basically wiped out all of her monster. 
Now she doesn't have any moss on the field. She is summoned Spear Creeble. Lucky I have Spear Creeble of my own to, to negate his Spear Creeble here. Creeble Exception here. Yeah, I use Dark Knight Confused Effect, take control of the Spear Creeper here. Yeah. That's pretty funny, yeah. Yes, get a Molecular Soldier. Yeah, I use the Black Lesser Soldier Effect. Destroy a Super Rush, go for attack. My opponent has zero card, but she could, she could get out her Phoenix. Here, yeah, she's destroying my Limit Impulse. I shouldn't have set Limit Impulse. I completely forgot that Phoenix is coming out next turn. So I wasted Limit Impulse for no reason. But. I joined to limit impulse so, so that misfit didn't cost us. Here she didn't use um beatdown, so if she used beatdown she could have easily gotten over my monster, right? Because of a beatdown, but she's not using it. Here use limit impulse. Get out my second black lesser soldier. Destroy her back row. Good game. As you can tell, the combo is very devastating, yo, when it works. Really good, guys. So, this deck is really fun, guys. And plus, it's not that hard to make. This deck is very free to build friendly, guys. Majority of the cards are from Card Trader. So, it's not that hard to build, you guys. This is very free to build friendly. Let me show you guys this last duel. So, the last duel is against Weevil Underwood. So after this duel, I'm gonna go straight to live duel. Okay, I'm playing 22, 22 cards deck. Here you add two parasite into my deck. Yep, set doom dog, set magic arm shield. Rising. A current interesting choice of card. Here's doom dog. Search out my duck neck of fear. Then on my deck, plus add. Extra card. Here, set my limit impulse. Set my trench archfiend. Here, I'm just waiting till I can join to um black Lassus soldier. Here, trench archfiend. Here, I use his effect to be my graveyard. Now, I can especially set my dark and fear. Go for attack. I don't even know what that back card is. It uses um. DD Warrior to bash my monster. Yo, this that card is pretty good, guys. The DD Warrior. You got that card from the uh, structure deck, right? Very nice tech card, guys. Here she destroyed my monster. I could I got to bring back the equip. Yeah, the cool thing about Trench Arch is you can bring back the banished monster. So that's pretty good. Yeah, I joined Yeah, I was I have Black Lesser Soldier, right? So um, yeah, I'm gonna go for the combo guys. Watch this. This was back row. Here he activate M controller, chain it. Yeah, I have enough um, free time in my grave to get on my second neck of fear. Yeah, I play around um, his windstorm taqua. Yep, good game. And that's how she wrote, guys. Good game. So yeah, let's quickly go straight to the lab duel with this guy, guys. So this deck is pretty good guys, so yeah, like I want, let's go to like a 1-3 in row with this deck, and last couple as well. So this is pretty decent deck to use, it's very free to be friendly. Majority of our cards are from Card Trader, right? Hopefully I can show you guys some um, 2 live duel with this deck. Let's see if we going to face any Cyber Angel deck. We're facing Maximilian Pegasus. Let's see what kind of deck this is having. Is running my scan beat down control deck? Yep, my scan. My scan is very annoying guys. You get to see my back row, right? Hmm. You open up a two magical arm shield and limit impulse. So I was debating whether if I should add lava gram in this deck because um I was thinking of taking one of the magical arm shield in favor of lava golem. What should I set? Should I, I should probably set this. 
I should probably set this. Yeah. He says he's running on my scan and heavy night of the plane. I'm guessing he's running um Sergeant Electro control deck. So I'm guessing he definitely have Sergeant Electro, right? I have to worry about not like he's gonna probably lock it down using Sergeant Electro. Ooh, this guy's running horse deck? Okay, this is very bad, dude. This is very bad. Okay, he definitely had mail wall, yo. There was a delay right when it face up. Hmm. How does this deck fare against horse deck? I'm not sure, but we'll see. This guy literally opened up a perfection, yo. Let's destroy this monster guys, let's, let's set this, so yeah, we gotta wait a turn in order to activate this, so hopefully he doesn't have a um, Sergeant Electro, does he have Sergeant Electro, that's the question, so yeah, we need to discard two cards, right, in order to act activate Limit Impulse, so yeah, but the thing with this card is you gotta like understand how this deck works. Okay, this is very bad, guys. He's running Mirage Dragon. Are you serious? Mirage Dragon negate um magical arm shield because you can only activate during battle phase, right? Man, this this yep. I'm saying pretty bad, yo. His deck literally locked out, locked out deck out, yo. So like my sooner, I was considering running Lava Golem. In this case, I could have easily tripped off his two monsters right using Lava Golem. So I may consider taking out one of the Magic Arm Shield for Lava Golem. Hmm, this is very bad, guys. Okay, that's um. Let's get out our monster guys. Let's ditch Let's ditch this. I should probably ditch Should I ditch that? Or should I ditch this? Hmm. Yeah, magic arm shield is basically useless, so I'm gonna ditch it. In order to trigger the Black Master Soldier effect, we need to have Banish Monster in our graveyard, so we're gonna banish three cards. So get out your Dark Maker Fear first. And then she will summon your Black Master Soldier. Yeah, are we actually gonna get this combo off? Yes, now let's destroy his Horus. Let's bring back this. Let's destroy this, yo. Good game, man. Look at that, yo. Very devastating. So... I'm gonna suicide with um, this. She trigger his uh, mirror wall. Because we know we hear mirror wall. We know that he had mail wall. So he's saving mail wall. Okay. That's okay. The reason I want to take control of his monster because um, um, basically our trap is basically useless, right? Hopefully he doesn't have second mirage dragon. Okay, we're seeing pretty good guys. We have um, Magic Arm Shield, Limit Impulse. So literally, our backwards basically... Um, wow, see? 
I knew he was running um Sergeant Electro guys. How is he gonna get over my 3000 attack monster though? She locked on limit impulse, it's a magic arm shield, interesting. Oh, it's Metamorph. I thought it was the male warrior, wow. Okay, this guy's very smart, yeah. I could have, I could Mirage Dragon effect, right? Yeah. So she was running a Madam Warrior. This guy wasn't running Man Wall. This is a very interesting match, yo. Because since we control Mirage Dragon, he can activate Madam Wolf during um battle step, right? Where we lost. That was a very close match, guys. I could have. I, I should have attacked with my. But I didn't know he was running Metamorph. I, was, I thought he was running um, Mirror Wall, yo. So I think we have time for one more, guys. Hopefully the video didn't get cut off. If it did, um, I might save this through replay to show you guys what happened. So that was a pretty interesting match, guys. Later in my open later. Open up with a perfect open hand, guys. Later. A uh, hand wasn't even that good. Plus, he was using um, Mirage Dragon and Sergeant Electro. That locked down our back row, yo. So, our back row was basically useless. Okay, we're facing Yugi Moto. Okay, this is pretty decent plan. But we can open up with a uh, back row soldier. Let's set this. Let's set this and I'll turn. I don't think he's expecting magic arm shield. Wow, what kind of deck is he has running, though? Let's summon this. Let's attack this. Go for attack. He definitely has Spear Creebo, like I predicted. Like, it's so obvious, like, if you don't summon any monster, it means that you either have Spirit Creeper in your hand. Yeah, like I said, I would consider replacing one with Magic Arm Shield for, um, Winston Takwa. Yep, Magical Angel. Wait. This guy's doing it all wrong, you know? Well, it doesn't make much of a difference anyway. Hmm. Okay, that's... This is pretty bad, yo. We only have one... Okay, we this. So we're gonna take what 500. What's this called? Do we go to the Mount Origin defense? So thousand. We're gonna take a thousand. Set this. Set this. Hmm. So let's see on this deck fair against um Cyber Angel deck. Petit Angel. Like we have a speed creeper to protect our life point. Hey guys, so I'll put you the video cut off. Um, I forgot to save the do it play. So yeah, basically, um, my opponent literally opened up with a perfect open. He used the king effect and destroyed my monster. So that's basically what happened. I lost. So guys, yeah, this deck does not fare against well against um Cyber Angel, but other decks it does pretty well. So guys, yeah, if you guys see a lot of um Cyber Angel deck. I don't recommend using this deck. Maybe um, in the low ladder, this deck might be good. 
So guys, I guess um, any other deck, um, this deck can hail its own. Anyway, yeah, let me show you guys uh, one more deal with this deck. So this deck is very fun, guys. This deck is very free to play friendly, so any free to play can make this deck. Majority of cards are from card trader, right? Like Dark Master Soldier, Doom Dog, um, and so on. The first in Parallax Brothers. One second. Let's see what kind of deck this guy runs. So I like to run. Like, it's infested with Cyber Angel deck. Literally, guys, every dude is Cyber Angel. There's gonna be time where you're gonna see a couple of, of random decks there and there, but that's very rare. In this case, we get to see other decks besides Cyber Angel, so that's good. Let's set Limit Impulse, let's set this, let's get our combo off. I'm gonna turn off my target off so here he's running a Mirage Dragon again. My Yo, is this guy is this a similar person I'm running? Didn't we just face this deck? I believe that was, that was a misplay, right? I should have used Speed Creeper, sent it to Graveyard, used some um, Trans Art Fiend, discard Wild Card, and then I have to Fiend Time Monster in my Graveyard so I could special summon Dark Link of Fear. I think that was a misplay. I'm pretty sure he's running um, Metamorph or Mirror Wall, so this is pretty tough. So, w what should I do, guys? Should I wait another turn or should I go for, th for attack? and beta was mirror wall let's do this let's activate this let's send doom dog I'm pretty sure it's a mirror wall but at least we get to um bait it out and control interesting. He's saving his mirror wall. Or maybe he doesn't have mirror wall. Maybe he wouldn't have enemy controller. So we need to join two um, black blasted soldiers to even have a chance. That's the call he just drew, right? So that okay. he didn't summon monster. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna switch this to defense so I can destroy it next turn. Hmm. Okay, we didn't open up with all. Well, that's okay. We're gonna. Let's just summon Dark Link of Fear. Let's um, banish this, this. Here, we can um, add Spirit Creeper to our hand. If we get destroyed, right? So that's what we're gonna do, guys. I'm gonna attack with Trans Archfiend and then bring back the Spirit Creeper to my hand. I'm gonna activate the fact. Look at his backward. His PFP card in his backward, so our tech isn't gonna get through, yo. Let's attack with this. Is he gonna activate mirror wall? Yep. That's good. I got to bring back my Spirit Creeble to my hand. Here I 
I'm gonna take control of this um, horse. So you're gonna activate my enemy controller. He's thinking right now, like, should I let the tech get through or let him duck and flee destroy? He's thinking right now. Take your time, yeah. Wait, wait, what the heck? What did you have in this cause and effect? Spell effect? You can send this card. Wait, why can't I take control of this card, yo? Yo, why can't I take control of this card? You guys saw that, right? Yo, is this a glitch? This card is unaffected by spell effect. During the end phase of this card is destroyed by monsters, but you can special summon this card to grave a special summon. Why can't I take control of that car, yo? Was that a glitch or something? Or is that how it intended, yo? You guys saw that, right? I couldn't take control of his monster, yo. Like, what happened? Yo? Whatever. So, guys, yeah. That was pretty unlucky. We faced, what, two horse deck and three of our... Three of the duo, guys? That's pretty unfortunate. So, guys, yeah. Surprisingly, um, we didn't get to win any of that duel. Pretty unfortunate, but yeah, this deck is pretty fun deck, guys. Yeah, I am just using this deck on low ladder, not legend. So, guys, yeah, I'm gonna end the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up and share it with you. If you guys wanna see similar videos, subscribe to my channel. I'll start to bring out similar videos whenever I can. So, guys, yeah, until next time. Later.